ओके डियर स्टूडेंट टुडे वी लर्निंग अबाउट द सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स सब्सटेंस इन डेली यूजेस ओके फर्स्ट द ऑल ऑफ यू स्टूडेंट इन दैप्टर स्टार्टिंग लेट वी सम पिक्चर्स एंड दैट पिक्चर्स वी सीन द थ्री ऑब्जेक्ट वन इज अ चेयर एंड अदर वन इज अ टेबल एंड लास्ट वन इज अ कबर्ड ओके एंड सम क्वेश्चंस दे आर आस्क यू वन इज विच थ्री ऑब्जेक्ट डू यू सी इन द पिक्चर्स ओके वन इज अ चेयर एंड अदर वन इज अ टेबल एंड वन इज कबर्ड ओके हाउ डिड यू आइडेंटिफाइड दम अपन तेल कशा पद्धति ने ओके ऑब्विस्ली वी आइडेंटिफाइड दम दे आर साइज ए शेप एंड ऑल्सो द सब्सटन्स they made up of okay next what material are they made up of chair is a made up of wood uh, the table is a made up of plastic and the cupboard is a made up of and of steel okay next the next topic is a substance and objects okay what is a substance and what is object let's we find out All the substances are made up of a very small particles. We know all of you. Marshall Kenneth also says that every substance on this earth is a made up of a small, very small particles. Objects are made up of a substances. Objects have a specific shape. Um, have a specific shape. Their parts have a specific arrangement by which we identified them. We use a wood. plastic or steel to make a table chair and cupboard shelves these substances have the strength required to make these articles also these substances can be given a desired shape it means that we consider the properties of a substances uh, use them for making things the same substances or materials can we use to making many objects let us see a study some such examples first is a cotton Co- cloth fiber or threads a sarees a handkerchiefs a quilt mattresses a pillows etc etc the iron uh, construction steel bars a griddle uh, in bracket tawa the griddle also called tawa okay uh, parts of automobiles and electric poles tables cupboards etc etc and we use aluminium for kitchen utensils electrical cables etc it is by studying the properties of for of a substances we can still select substances suitable for our purpose the substances in every they use are of two main kinds the first Uh, there are proto- uh, there are two types one is a natural and also man made substances so our next point is is that a most important points in that chapter one is uh, the substances two types first is a natural substances and another one is a man made substances uh, some question ask you uh, what the difference between these two groups of a natural substances first is a leather second one jute wool cotton water soil and metals okay one thing is important between two of uh, in that leather jute and wool and cotton is also occur a living things and water soil and metals uh, has a mostly occur things uh they considered in non living things water soil and metals also let we um, let we see about uh, natural substances substance available in nature are are called natural substances of these the substances of the first group are obtained from living things in the natural substances their first group is obtained from living things substance obtained from living things are called biotic substance 
there are two prototypes one is a biotic substance and another one is a abiotic substance the biotic substance is obtained from living things okay and the air soil water are substances that are not obtained from living things so that important things the biotic obtained from living things and the abiotic is obtained from non living things so there are two main types when the substance of biotic substance obtained from living things and the next one is abiotic substance obtained from a non living things example like air soil and water however the leather and wool difference from jute and cotton the next question are so simple how are leather and wool different from jute and cotton okay we know all of you the leather and wool also obtained from animals and the cotton and jute also obtained from plant so there are two types in it leather and wool obtained from animals and they are animals origin so that we call animals origin and the jute and cotton obtained from plants so that we call plant origin do we find the plastic nylon brass or cement in nature okay the next question is uh, <clears throat> not so hard we know all of you the plastic nylon brass uh, brass or cement uh, we cannot find in naturally or nature so such a type of substances such a type of substances they cannot occur in nature or naturally such we called so that substances are made up by man so that's the substances we called as man made substances so let me uh, study about it it is human nature to strive for newer things and to try to make a life more comfortable as a result of his effort man not only learn to use a natural substance at birth also begun to process them to make a new substances several such as substances are easier to use and can be made available in plenty at a low cost there therefore these substances came to be used a large scale there are a great many such man made substances is used today now substances produced by processing naturally available substances are called man made substances so the last definition is the most important uh, most important and that uh, definition is new substances are produced by processing naturally available substances are called man made substances okay so let's we learning about next <coughs> learning about next topic uh, man made substances earlier earlies uh, or uh, caps made up of grass sackcloth were used to pro protection from rain then cloth umbrellas came into use nowadays the raincoat school bags and the book covers you use can all be made from plastic can all be made from plastic okay <clears throat> delicate articles perishable fruits requiring packaging to pack as tv sets refrigerator big cartons and thermocols are being used all of these man made substances these substances are waterproof water resistance lightweight and easy to for transportation that is why they are being used increasingly the next topic we given a tree diagram substance in daily uses okay how to solve it okay it's a very simple the substance in daily uses we know all of you there are two types first is a man made um, and in bracket Uh, naturally man made or naturally in man made 
we know all of you we given number of example we uh, fill in it just like a cement and etc etc uh, the another one is naturally there are two types abiotic and biotic in biotic or abiotic there are um, abiotic are free but in biotic there are two types so one is a plant origin there are another one is here uh, animal origin in plant origin we given the example of jute or cotton and uh, animal origin leather etc etc okay so next next point we learning about um, the process of making of glass glass can be made from sand and calcium carbonate however sand calcium sand and calcium carbonate cannot be obtained again from glass okay we know all of you so such a process we called as a irreversible changes process you must have be observed green chilies or tomatoes turning in red after some um, times have you ever seen or heard of red tomatoes becoming green again okay so not the green um, becoming green again okay while making a man made substances the properties of constituents undergoes the changes the change occurs due to a certain chemical reaction these changes in the properties are permanent that is the origin constituent substance cannot be obtained again from the new substances such changes is called are irreversible changes okay the point is complete let's we seen the next point example of man made substances some example we given in that table okay first is area of use manje konte kshetra tela vaparle gelele ahe okay first um, there are three areas uh, we seen here one is a construction second one is writing material and third one is thread fiber or yarn okay first is area use constructions natural substances used in it bamboo stone soil wood coconut uh, fronts and next one is lime and man made substances in it brick cement concrete galvanized sheet clay tiles plastic and asbestos sheets okay next one is a writing material area of use writing material natural substance used in it tree tree bark leaves burj uh, patra pens made from reeds and stone slates stone walls in caves soils and colors made from plants and man made substances pen pencils made from plastic and metals papers and notebooks etc etc third one is a thread fiber yarn cotton silk wool uh, natural substances are used in it okay next one is a man made substance in nylon and rayon okay so that's why we complete our table and the next one is production of uh, substances okay in that we learning about rubber production of such a substances man made substances we learning about in it and that uh, substances are uh, highly used one is a rubber next one is a paper uh, synthetic fibers and threads also okay in it we given the information of uh, synthetic fibers or threads okay let we start about rubbers rubber is of two types one is a natural and another one is artificial natural rubber is obtained from the gum or sap of tree the sap is called latex and rubber has a peculiar 
order and it is a white in color so naturally color when the um, their latex is a came out from the tree uh, that we that their origin color original color is a white is in color vulcanization of rubber <clears throat> in this process rubber is heated with sulfur for 3 to 4 hours to give a hardness to the rubber sulfur is mixed in it in it the proportion of a sulfur in the mixture is determined by the purpose for which the rubber will be used eraser rubber ball rubber toys all have a verifying proportions varying proportions of a sulfur in them in rubber bands the proportion of sulfur is very small okay and we know all of it in the tire and all that things the rubber pro uh, the sulfur proportion in that rubber is a very high mm. in the past charles goodyear the some story we find here in that bracket in the past the charles goodyear spilled a mixture of rubber and sulfur on a burning stove after the stove was exhausting he noticed that the rubber had become harder and less elastic he repeated this experiment in a systematic way and invented the process of vulcanization mm, hard and tough tires of rubber made the thenceforth brought about a revolutionary change in transportation okay do you know about it rubber is a natural substance obtained by collecting the latex of a certain tree rubber tree are found in abundance in brazil later these trees were planted in other countries too the botanical name of the tree is hevia brazili brazilinensis in india the maximum productions of rubber is in kerala next the main learning be about it the manufacturing process in the manufacturing uh, manufacturing process of paper um, in that uh, <coughs> in that diagram we seen the whole process of making of paper okay let me start uh, let me discuss about that uh, um, process okay paper first we paper is the substance or material formed due to the inter entered winning of the cellulose fibers in grass wood rags or waste paper does a paper is a kind of network of a cellulose fibers how is a paper made kasha paddhatini paper ha tayar hoto okay let me start about it coniferous trees like a pine are used to make a paper the bark of the logs of these trees is first removed and the wood is broken into a small pieces the mixture of these pieces and some chemicals is kept soaking for a long time okay and after that um, when the chemical process is completed it helps to form a pulp when the chemical process is completed the fibrous substances from wood pulp are separated and some dyes are added the pulp is then passed through the roller dried to the paper are finally wound or on reels paper and wood are closely related to save trees it is necessary to use paper sparingly that is the most important because we know all of you um, today's are mostly work on a computers and then etc computer and other things so we save paper because um, we know all of you paper and wood also closely related because you use a highly papers so highly cutting the uh, trees and that is why 
so we to use a paper sparingly okay do you know in india the first factory to manufacture newsprint paper to be used for newspapers was established at nipanagar in madhya pradesh in 1955 paper is also manufactured at sonagar in gujarat in maharashtra there is a paper factory at ballarpur near chandrapur okay and the next uh, topic okay uh, first we seen always remember some points that point is a uh, mm, most important do not tear up blank pages or on a notebook do not throw away old notebook with a blank pages second the blank side advertising uh, pamphlets inner side of postal envelopes the blank the blank sides of us uh, calendars pages and other such uh, writable surfaces can be used to make a notes list to cover book etc etc do not throw away or burn up such a paper until it has been fully uh, utilized like this third whenever possible try to use a pencil and slates fourth cooperate cooperate with the people who collect a paper from garbage or buy scrap paper these people help in proper reuse of resources okay and next next topic is synthetic fibers or threads we know okay that's we complete the man made substances first is rubber paper rubber and paper the third one is synthetic fibers or threads from which first question they ask you from which substances in nature can we get a thread or fibers and next question is what are the cloth uh, what are what are clothes made from from the time it was the first uh, thus that artificial yarn could be produced to meet the clothes clothing needs of an increasing population much research and progress has taken place in the field in this field innumerable kinds of synthetic or artificial threads are now available nylon dacron terlin terrain polyester rayon and uh, rayon are the names of various synthetic threads do you know about it okay the silk is a natural thread or fibers obtained from the co- cocoons of a silk worms from one cocoon 500 meters to, to 1300 meters of a thread can be obtained it said that a silk was first produced on a large scale in china almost all the articles is made from natural fibers is is in the olden days can now be made from synthetic threads nylon rayon terlin acrylic are all synthetic threads are ma- many articles is in our daily use are made from them first is nylon this thread we are invented at the same time new york and london therefore the initial new ny of new york and uh, yellow and mess uh, london where of where combined to name them nylon nylon threads have a shine and are a strong transparent and water resistance they are used in manufacturing cloth fishing nets and ropes etc etc next one is rayon cotton and wood pulp is dissolved in a chemical called sodium hydroxide to make 
a solution thread are obtained from this solution with the help of machines as these threads have a shine and strength they are said to be synthetic silk they are appeared to be a shining bright like the sun rays hence they were named rayon next the threads name is a dacron terrelin and last one is a terrin various hydrocarbons obtained from a mineral oil are used to make a polymer chain the solution of this polymer is pressed through a strainer uh, with the fine holes the fibers from after cooling are long and unbroken threads these threads are twisted to obtain yarn different types of chemicals are used to make threads of various properties these are different threads threads uh have been named various as a dacron terrelin and last one is a terrin new words first in bracket we see in the new words first is hydrocarbons a substance obtained from a mineral oil and second one polymers chain long continuous chain formed by a small interlinked chemical units next and the next point is a advantages and shortcoming of synthetic fibers first let me talk about uh, advantages these fibers can be manufactured on a mass scale they cost less they are strong and durable they can be used for a long time they are water repellent hence do not hence do not rot or get wet they dry easily they are lightweight and comfortable to wear seven point as they have a shine they enhance the appearance of the uh, wearer cloth made from these threads are wrinkle free and scratch free okay shortcoming they first is they are water repellent since do not absorb sweat uh, from the skin second one continuous use of cloth made from this thread kept the skin moist which may cause skin diseases third one synthetic cloth are uncomfortable to wear especially in summer fourth synthetic fabric catches fire easily fifth if they catch fire the cloth stick to the skin and cause serious injuries and sixth one is these fibers are not decomposed by the microorganisms so um, student that's why we complete our chapter number 6 the substance in daily use in that we learning about uh, the topics of a substance and object next one the natural substance in the natural substance we also learning about the um, biotic substance or biotic substance in it uh, animal origin and plant origin also we learning about the man made substances in man made substances we mainly we learning about uh, the some man made uh, properly man made substances just like a rubber next one is a paper and last one is a synthetic fibers of a threads in that synthetic fibers or threads we learning about nylon rayon dacron terrelin and terrin and that's why we complete our this chapter the chapter name is the substance substance in daily use so goodbye students